Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Red and gold has to be one of my favorite combination on brides. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful cut crease with red and gold and some red glitter as well. And I'm only going to be using drugstore products. And the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using is the Bretman Rock Shadow Palette from Wet n Wild. Such a bomb palette. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the brows. I'm going to be using a pomade today from Ardell. This is in the shade medium brown. With the help of an angled brush, I'm going to start filling my brows then to shape it as well as fill in the sparse areas. And to clean up underneath the brows, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer, which is also going to be a base on my lids for the eyeshadows. Many of you have asked me about this brush. This is actually an eyeliner brush from e.l.f. I think it's just a $2 brush, but works amazing, especially for detailed work. With the airspun loose powder, I'm going to quickly set my lids to make the blending easy. And the brush that I'm using is a small powder brush from Milani. The names of these shadows are a little off, so I hope I pronounce them properly. I'm going to first dig into this beautiful bright red shade called Tau Can Play This Game or You Can Play This Game. With the help of a pencil brush, I'm going to use it to carve out my crease. And then with the help of a small blending brush from Colourpop, I'm going to start softening out the edges. And I'm going to repeat these steps till I'm happy with the intensity. So I'm adding more color to the crease using the pencil brush. And then I'm going to buff it out again with the blending brush. Take your time to buff out the edges. That's when the shadows start looking really nice and feathered out. You don't want to leave the edges sharp. That's when it starts looking a little tacky. So buff out as much as you can and let it look really soft in the edges. Using this black eyeshadow called Alpha, I'm going to deepen the outer corner and the brush that I'm using is a small flat shader brush from Coastal Sense. And then again, I'm going to buff out the edges to soften it. It's time to cut the crease and for that I'm going to be using the Milani concealer once again. I'm going to first mark the area where I want to cut the crease and then I'm going to clean up my lid space for any residue and fallout from the eyeshadows. And for that I'm using the micellar cleansing water with a Q-tip. I'm going to quickly clean up the lid space. And then I'm going to paint the lid with the concealer, buffing out the edge with my finger to make the blending easy. While this concealer is still tacky, I'm going to quickly set it with King of the Jungle, which is a beautiful gold metallic eyeshadow.
And for a nice transition, I'm going to be using Tau Can Play That Game again between the gold eye shadow and the black. It's time to add some glitz and glamour with some glitter which I always look forward to and I'm going to be using this pressed red glitter from the Hip Dot palette. This palette is completely sold out but I'm going to link other palettes that look, look and perform exactly like this. So do check out the description box below. You can see that I add so much more character to the look so I absolutely love glitters. And nice thing about pressed glitters is you don't need a sticky base you can apply it directly. For the lower lash line, I'm going to first smoke out the red eyeshadow called Tau Can Play This Game and the brush that I'm using is a small pencil brush from Colourpop. In the inner third, I'm going to be using the gold eyeshadow King of the Jungle. Using Prowl, I'm going to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners using a small flat shader brush again from Colourpop. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Gel Liner in black, first in my waterline and then in my lash line. This is my favorite drugstore eyeliner. It's much proof, waterproof and very comfortable on the eyes. And then using the black eyeshadow, I'm going to thicken my lower lash line. And the brush that I'm using is a flat definer brush from Do Color. And then we'll finish up with some mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using the Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. One of my favorite mascaras, especially for lower lashes. It's so comfortable, so easy to apply. And for lashes, I'm going to be using Corset from Carity. And my friends, here's the completed look. So many of you have been asking me for a red and gold eyeshadow look. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you want to watch more drugstore tutorials like this. For your convenience, I've listed everything that I've used in the description box right below this video. So make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.